Louisiana Beer Reviews looks at St. Arnold Boiler Room Berliner Weisse. Recorded at Mathern Supermarket, La Place, Louisiana, here at 6.40 a.m. And this is the first video review for this beer in the world! Just like with the Harpoon Take 5. Now, 3.7% alcohol, that's very low for America, 7 IBU, 7, so basically there is going to be no bitterness. Gets a very good score on Beer Advocate book with 27 ratings, and 80 out of 100 on rate beers, 47 out of 100 for the style with 79 ratings, so a little bit over 100 written reviews. Produced in Houston, Texas. Let's check it out. Now, Mathurns gets a lot of St. Arnold beers because we got certain customers that buy a whole lot of it. <laughs> so, the St. Arnold people are like, your store makes up a big part of our value. I think they're right that this store here does. You may not get St. Arnold in your area. I don't know how wide we do this. Let's take a little taste. Some water vapor. About two ounces down in there. Two and a half. Well, this is a wheat beer. Not much of a head. Um, it's sparkling, it's clear, it's straw color, it looks like champagne. And they said on the website that they let the beer, they let the beer sour and then they brew it, something like that. Um, whereas it said a traditional Berlin of Isa, it ferments in the bottle, you know, it's a, at the end of the process, but they don't add live yeast to this bottle. sour but not overly so just kind of uh, like maybe Wonder Bread or uh, a bagel that's really what it smells like It's making a little crackle, but with this noise from the cooler there, I don't think you'd really hear it. Yeah, it's sour, but it's not super sour like a lot of those kind of beers. You drink them, it tastes like Lemonhead or Warhead, something like that. This one is sour oriented. So like I said, the readiness. The sourness, the readiness, and the, a little lemony aspect. Um, maybe a little like yogurt, like yogurt without flavor, you know, not any fruit or anything in it. A light mouthfeel. It's prickly. It's a champagne like finish, like on the dry side. Like I said, it got a little bit of that. It's got like a dried milk thing. Crusty milk, like. Get some of that on your mouth, in your mouth, around the edge of the bottle cap. Well, <laughs> if that's your thing, you might love this.
this is not I, this is not my thing. I don't have a. I know people that's like their big deal is the sours. And that's fine if that's what you enjoy. I like some sour things, not necessarily beer. Definitely not milk. Um, so I guess it's. not even really one of the best sours um, but a lot of times when I drink on it and I think on it the score will go up right so I will be drinking it and thinking it and writing the written reviews and see how it pans out initially though I'm going to go with a B minus it's marginally good it's uh, not expensive so it's not like you're laying a lot you're laying down a lot for it so it's probably worth checking out you might enjoy it so, there you go. I'm trying to be fair. Now for something completely different. They have Red's Black Cherry. <laughs> Red's Hard Ale. Well, you know, that's a segment with all these hard ciders, which I don't like ciders. And then they've got the Mike's, which is not, it's, it's a beer-based product. The Reds is an ale, if you want to be technical. Um, black Cherry, well, hey, I'm going to try it. If I can find, yeah, I'm going to try it. So, um, enough said on that. You might see this around, and you might see my review coming up for it. I've already done the Reds Wicked Apple. And the mango and the mango is really good for that genre so thank you for watching this video and y'all come on down to Matherns and check out their growing beer selection like they just cut okay, you got these prairie beers you got good drack I've, I've heard that the jw lees is very nice um, well it's just too much to show it's incredible so thanks